And now let's find out how to collect the information needed and design the reference energy system of a country. As a starting point, we can consider the energy balance of a country. The energy balance is an accounting framework for compilation and reconciliation of data on all energy products entering, exiting, and used within a country or area during a reference period, typically one year. Such a balance must necessarily express all forms of energy in a common accounting unit and show the relationship between the inputs to and the outputs from the energy transformation processes. Therefore, it can help identifying the different energy careers along with the different processes happening on a country level. Energy balances should be as complete as possible so that all energy flows are, in principle, accounted for and a completed picture of the system is presented. To be able to read an energy balance, it is not easy. In the following slides, I will try to guide you through this process and the information contained. First of all, on the top bar of the table, it is possible to identify the different energy commodities available, grouped into types of commodities. As first row in the table then, the data on primary energy production is provided for the relevant energy commodities in the country. In this case, it seems the only primary energy resources produced within the country are biomass and electricity, coming from renewable sources such as solar, wind and hydro. Below the primary production then, information concerning the import and export of energy commodities are provided. Moving on in the table, starting from the first bold line separator, data linked to the secondary energy level are provided. In this area of the table, negative values represent energy that is consumed and burned to generate electricity whereas the positive values represent energy that is produced, namely electricity, as a result of conversion processes. After the second bold line in the table is the section where the final energy demand is broken down into the different sectors and services that need to be satisfied. Finally, on the far right end of the energy balance, there is a column that sums up all energy flows and allows to easily assess efficiencies and losses in the system. You can find a collection of energy balances for each country in the world on the web portal of the United Nations Statistics Division, available at the link on the slide. Alternatively, another possible source for information that can help designing the reference energy system of a country are the Sankey diagrams provided by the International Energy Agency and available at the link in this slide. So, to summarize, when looking at the energy balance or the energy flows of a country, in order to be able to draw the correspondent reference energy system, it is important to first identify what are the energy levels and the different energy commodities that are part of the system. And second, to identify what types of technologies are available in it. 